So today I will be doing a makeup tutorial video for you and I got a couple of requests for this specific look when I had posted it on my social media. This look is very sweet, soft girl, um, pretty, very fresh, dewy, kind of in the glowy region, you know, the more natural glam that's a little more um, trendy nowadays. So that's very much this look and if you're interested in trying it out or wanting to recreate it, keep on watching. So our first step is to prep and prime the skin. First things first, I am going in with the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. It's like a mini thing. Um, I really like this for my skin because I'm, if you've seen my skincare routine video, you'd know that I have oily skin, um, well, oily combination skin. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, it's really good because it's lightweight. It doesn't make my skin feel greasy or oily but it still feels really fresh and hydrating. So while that's sinking into my skin, I am going to take a spoolie and I am going to do my brows. Um, I just take some pears. So this is a new bar, that's why it's still in the plastic. And I'm just gonna spray it with some water. Like that. I was really scared and intimidated to do soap brows just because I had never done them before and I was usually doing just brow gel but it's actually really easy and holds really well and obviously it's really easy to wash off but you could kind of just I was under the impression that you had to brush all your hairs up and like just leave it with that really bushy look you definitely don't have to brush all of them up the way a lot of influencers do as seen on like social media like I much prefer most of my brow hairs to kind of go in the way that it's shaped as opposed to like straight up but you definitely can do it how you want to once that is done and your moisturizer has sunken in I will go in with the Tatcha silk canvas I really like this you can you can kind of tell that I kind of dug into it I just take the handle of a brush just because I don't like dipping my fingers in it not that a brush is any better but yeah I just take a little bit onto the back of my hand I'm just putting it where my pores look the largest. Once that is done, I take a, another primer for all over the face. And this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I know everyone loves this, but I've been testing it out and it does work. I do like it, but I just feel like overall it could be better like I would definitely buy it and purchase it again but I feel like there are just so many primers out there that I feel it could do the same thing as this um, so finally the last step for priming is this little guy this is the Sika Pear Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Camo Drops um, this really helps neutralize redness. Looks like this. I know these are all minis, but I just happen to travel a lot back and forth. So I'm just putting it where I have redness. I don't have too much redness, but it's just kind of acts as color correcting. And this is important because I'm not going to wear foundation. I rarely wear foundation if I'm being honest. I don't know. I just really prefer just wearing concealer or powder now. Okay. Sorry if I keep looking over there, by the way. I'm just looking into the mirror so I know that I'm doing this right as opposed to like looking into this. 
Um, but yeah, so this is what my skin looks like right now after all the priming. And again, I like to have that sit on the skin while I do my brows. I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I normally use the NYX brow pencil, the, um, the one that looks exactly like this, but I ran out and this is what I had in my collection. So I'm using the shade Medium Brown and yeah, I'm just gonna fill in where I feel like it's kind of sparse or where I would like more coverage. That's what they look like. They're okay. I'm not super perfectionist when it comes to brows just because the more I fuss about them being even, the less even they'll be in the end. So the next step we're gonna do is the base. So I'm gonna start with concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer by Face Studio and this is in the shade Light Medium. I'm pretty sure this is by Maybelline, but um, doesn't say. But I think it's Maybelline, yeah. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. I am running really low. So I'm just gonna dot it on where I need the most coverage. Um, I have a lot of acne scarring. Again, if you saw my skincare video, you'd know that it's one of my struggles. But um, yeah, I'm just dotting this on. So I'm gonna let that sit because if you give your concealer time to sit on your face, this will allow for more coverage. But yeah, okay, so once you let the concealer dry down a little bit onto your skin, that's when I like to take, I normally take the sponge dry if I'm being 100% honest, just because I don't like walking all the way to the sink and getting it wet, but I wet it today. Yeah, so I'm just gonna blend where I have put that concealer. I'm just putting a second layer on where I feel like I need a tad more coverage. This is the Kiko Highlighting Effect Fluid Concealer. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and this is my tip for you guys um don't go directly under i know a lot of people i know a lot of people tend to go right under the eye but your under eye skin and eyelid skin in general are really sensitive and are actually like a different type of skin compared to the rest of your face so you need to be extra careful around those areas so i like to put it like just where kind of my eye bags or like just where this line kind of follows I just put it there because you can always blend upwards as opposed to putting the product directly onto that area which I don't like and I'm also gonna go in here and do that this just kind of contours a little bit because um, it kind of lifts your eye upwards and you get that triangle effect that most people go for and then I'm gonna let that sit in a bit and we're just gonna blend that second layer of concealer that we put down for the areas that we wanted a little more coverage so now we're gonna take our sponge and we are gonna go and I'm going in with the pointy side and I am going to blend up into my eye and then like this too keep in mind that you should concentrate the concealer in that area like don't you can't see but I'm using basically this part of the sponge and I'm going in but I'm not dragging that down here I'm just keeping that I'm just keeping it right here right where my eye is because that's where I want the product to be. I don't want to drag it all the way down or all the way out. That's done. I'm gonna go in with powder. This is my all-time favorite powder. I wish it was still in stores. 
it's available online so that's a good thing but you can tell that I really love this powder um, this is the Sephora micro smooth um, powder foundation um, you can see that I've really hit pan on this I'm taking this on my BH cosmetics brush and I'm putting it on here you can see it's picked up a lot I'm just gonna tap off the excess and then we're gonna go in and I'm just putting this all over the face so now that we've done our foundation and concealer we're gonna go in with the physician formula butter bronzer I like using a fluffier brush because it does give you more coverage um, and this look is honestly all about the bronzer and the blush melting together so yeah I'm putting that right here and I'm not really focusing on like I'm not really using this as contour I'm just more so doing it as a where the sun would naturally hit me I do go along the jawline just because I have a rounder face so I like to be a little more defined and if you're like oh my god you look crazy like it's clearly not blended relax you're gonna take your foundation brush don't add do not add any more powder and just blend using the brush that you use with your foundation really helps to even it out blend it out and get through there i'm also going to use bronzer as contour today for my nose okay so yeah just blending all of that out and i do use my fingers but yeah, so now we're gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna use the Rose Gold Blush Duo by Jouer Cosmetics. I love the packaging on this, it is so pretty. So I'm just gonna dip and I'm gonna mix both these colors. So I'm putting these on the apples of my cheeks, but I'm mainly focusing on bringing it upwards and across the nose. But yeah, so this is how it's looking. Um, I don't know, I feel like it looks really fresh. Once that's done, we're gonna put on some setting spray. But yeah, you don't need to do that much. <laughs> we're actually gonna do our eyes now, and we're just gonna use the same product. We're gonna go in with our Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, and I'm gonna take some on my brush. This is a little fluffy brush. As you can see, I have hooded eyes. So I like to go into my crease and a little higher up, closer to my brow. And I'm just doing back and forth motions. You can do the windshield wiper motions, but I just do really short windshield wiper motions, like so, around the eye. And I'm starting from the outer edge, right where the tail of my brow is. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, working the way working my way towards the front. So once I reach the inner corner or where the front of my brow is, I'm gonna go back towards the tail of my brow. And then when I'm towards the tail of my brow, I'm going downwards to where the outer corner of my eye is. And then I take a, another fluffy brush like this. This is also from BH Cosmetics. And then I'm gonna go in with the blushes that we used. And again, mixing the two shades. And I'm just going on the eyelid with that. And because I have hooded eyes, I have to go a little higher so that when my eyes are relaxed, you can see the color a little bit better. So yeah, definitely cater to your eye shape and your eyelid space. I know that some have more than others, so be mindful of that. So yeah, just mainly sweeping this across the eyelid. I'm just going to blend the two things together. And then taking the brush that I used for the bronzer I'm taking whatever's left and I'm going underneath my eye but stopping halfway just to bring a little more cohesiveness okay so the next step um, that we're gonna do is highlighter this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy collab this 
highlighter is stunning such a pretty highlighter and I'm gonna take my real techniques I think this is a setting brush yeah setting brush I use it for highlighter I just like it for it yeah swirling this around tapping the excess off and yeah so I don't like putting it all the way down here I like to start up here and underneath the brow right where the brow arch is and I'll do the same on the other side and then I also like to do my cupid's bow and then the very tip of my nose and then a little bit of the non-existent bridge that I have okay so that's what that looks like just a couple more steps to do we're gonna finish up the eyes so I'm gonna take a lash curler and I'm gonna curl my lashes that's done I'm going in with my Kiko um, mascara this is the luxurious lashes waterproof mascara now this mascara is very good for lengthening and separating so lashes are on last step for the eyes this makes everything pop this is the Tarte chrome paint shadow pot I have the shade top yacht it is so so pretty I'm gently dipping into the shadow pot and then we're gonna go straight in to the inner corner I like to take a little more and I like to add it to my brow bone just because it just adds a little something something and I also do it on the tip of my nose like the very very tip so now that the eyes are all done, we're going to go into lips. Now for the lips, I'm going to take the NYX Lip Liner Slim Lip Pencil in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. And I line my lips. The very last step of our look is the Patrick Ta Gloss. This is the Major Glow Lip Shine in the shade she's expensive yeah so we're gonna take that and we're gonna go on top it's kind of like minty right is it supposed to be minty i don't know it feels kind of minty and we're done <laughs> hope you enjoyed this look I am really happy with how it turned out um, I hope you guys give it a try and feel free to tag me if you do let me know down below what other videos or makeup tutorials you would like to see and I hope to see you guys in my next video